bit now screwing up. Okay. All right, my people. Now, today's Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. It wasn't so beautiful this morning, but now the sun is out in full force. At three, after 3, about 3.30, really, right? So that's pretty good. So now, people, let me bring it down. So I'm going to make some... I'm going to make some stew chicken, right? Curry stew chicken. It's already seasoned up. I'll show you that. And then we're going to make it with some fried bakes. But let me introduce you to the kind of bakes I'm making today, right? So let me bring it down closer to see what's going on, right? So, all right, my peeps. Now, I have some garlic, thyme, parsley, tomatoes, onion, green onion, otherwise a scallion, sweet bell pepper, right? And this now in here is uh, yeast, right? This is yeast. You know, you have to put it in warm water you know, to get it to use. And I'm gonna use it to make some fry bakes, right? Now in this, this is flour, a piece of butter, and some all-purpose Maggi, right? And something else, some other spice. And um, um, I think it's seasoning. So now we're gonna mix up all of this. We're gonna mix the flour first and make it sit down. And I'm gonna cover it down for the next couple of minutes while I'm cutting those things up. But I wanna get this first, right? So it can, you know, cause once you put yeast in it, you gotta make it chill out for a minute. Right, and then over here now, people. Right, that's my curry stew chicken right there. So I'm gonna that season up for about an hour now, two hours, which is good. So, so once I done cut up all that, I'm gonna put this on the fire. Okay. And I'm not gonna, I think I was planning on, you know, fry them first, but I don't wanna fry it. Eh? I just want to curry stew them right now. You know, straight from the start, right? So it's all about the curry. And so now, people, this yeast right now is ready, it's warm, so I'm gonna use it. Need my flour. You never try yeast with fry, try yeast with, with flour, fry bakes. You guys gotta go to the Caribbean more, so not just Jamaica, the whole Caribbean. You gotta circle the Caribbean. You taste good food, man. I'm telling you, people. So without ado, let me put this down while I need my flour. I make my fried bakes, see? And then you know Saturdays, so I have my cold 45 out, see? Today's Saturday, so. Ah, cheers. Whatever you guys drink, do your thing, but do it responsible. So now, First thing you gotta do, wash your hands. You gotta wash your hands first, the first thing. Make sure your nails clean. boy up make this so first we're gonna do we're gonna make the flour and stuff start out it's the flour and the butter right you want to mix up the butter everything with it then make that start out and the butter does help it to be you know a little bit more flaky really Yeah, my people. So in this, there's all purpose, Maggie, a nutmeg, right? I grated some nutmeg in it. 
not they give you good flavors right and then the butter right that's what I was trying to remember what but I smell the nutmeg all right let's use our yeast So whatever yeast left over, you know what I'm gonna do with it? If there's enough, if, if there's more yeast left over, you know what I do with it? I add more water to it, put it in my bucket, and about half bucket of water, and then feed my plants with it. Put about two spoons of sugar in it, and feed my plants with it. My, the food I'm eating, like onion, skeleton, and thing I have my balcony, I feed it to it, you make the plants grow good, man, because whatever the dirt you're you cooking, you plant your food in, and sometimes the dirt is not giving the plant the food, the veggie, the, the vitamin, or the, the what it needs. You know, this, you can use yeast, you know, two spoons of sugar, any kind of sugar, either brown sugar or white sugar. And then you make it sit for about a couple of hours. After a couple of hours, the next morning, you water your plant with it, you see a big surprise. Trust me, people. The food will start, all of a sudden, you see a plant where you see dying, just stand up because the yeast, you know, the yeast, you have lots of vitamins in it that your plant you need. And it's food where you're going to eat. So shouldn't be a problem. It's better to use that than use chemical. That's what I use on my plant people. It's not even summer yet, but I start early. You get a little game. So now, where is that? Okay. Alright, just a little bit more. I don't want it to be sticky. people my floor is ready no it's done
people. There is. Look at that, people. That is it, people. So now, that done, right? All right, people, that's part one. So what I'm going to do now, see? That's my fry bakes. It's not bake yet, fry it. So I'm going to cover that up and put it down. And now, Wash off all this flour off my finger now. And Now my people, let's get started on our cutting up our stuff now. So the rest of the east are left in this now. I'm going to use this east. I'm going to add some sugar to it, put in a bigger bowl. Right? One spoon of sugar or two, that's it. And then I'm going to water my plant with it, my food plant. Then. But I got that got to sit and fermented for at least a day and then you water your plant. Come out nice, your plant grow, your tomato grows. You, know, you put your plant, the plant tomatoes, I use it to water my tomatoes. Yeast and sugar. Right, so alright now people now. Now I'm gonna cut up my that I need, but first, I need a pot to cook that meat in. Alright, this is good. I can use this pot, it's good. That's for my bakes. So now, Dum, 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 dum. A little bit of oil, mm. just to put the curry in, so the curry can I can burn some curry before, right? Mm. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right, people. I'm sure you can see my fireside too, you know, so. You gotta see everything, man. All right, my people. So now you see me, you see the pot at the same time. So now, that is one pre eat. Right, and I'll show you my. This is my curry. See? This is my curry chicken. Marinated for about two hours now. No. Onion and stuff to go in it. Hmm? Yeah, well, people, cut these things up, and then by the time I'm done, this part's supposed to be hot.
pepper, the other one is the scallion. The onion, people. The onion. Oof. The onion is red. Oof. Let the scent alone burn in my eye. Let my eye run tears, which is good. Nothing bad with that. When the onion make it, the high run tears. That's good. Saturday seaweed supper. Saturday supper, my people. Saturday supper. Usually I buy soup, but I don't really believe I don't want to drink soup today, really. No, this is my parsley. There you go, my peeps. Everything is right there. Mm -hmm. So, no peeps, watch this. That is it. So my, I have my thyme, parsley, tomatoes, yellow onion. You call it yellow, but it's green. I mean, it's white. And then we have a green onion, otherwise, a scallion, garlic, pepper. Right? And then we have more dry rub in the, in, in, in the cabinet we're going to use. Right? So, I uh, use my, this is my flour from my fry bakes. Sit down there, make it do its thing. Now, people, we're going to throw the curry in the pot, right? So, but first, we want some curry, right? And this is hot curry. Jamaican love the pepper, boy, trust me. Jamaican love pepper, they do. I'm one of them, so I'm a pepper lover, but I forgot to pick up pepper. That's the only thing, peeps, but it's all right. If we don't pick up the first pepper, we have the one in the bottle. It's not the best, but... Hmm? And by the time that's ready, we're going to put some more dry rub in it, but dry rub can stay until when the time comes, right? the color change color you know when we say burnt we don't mean burnt you know we just want the, the curry the color to change so it, it open up you know it open up the, the flavor it open up so by throw the chicken in stress or two, two, two times and make it cover it down make it sweat you're good you know you just gotta put it on low heat you know not a high heat thing right as I said you cannot cook food on high heat Okay, it's, that's not cook. Okay, that's either raw or burnt food. See, 
you cook it slow slowly but surely okay so that's what we're going to do in this part now we're going to make our fry bakes in then people you got to try these fry bakes with yeast first you're going to do with your yeast as you can see look at this yeast right now so it, you, you look you see it start to um, ferment it at the top that's you know you know says good yeast look at that yeah so later on now I'm going to put two spoons of sugar in it and then um, in a minute I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put it down make it fermented and I'm going to add it to a jug of water and once I add it to a jug of water make it stay by the tomorrow I'll give it my plant all my plant them will enjoy that's enjoy it so I have to buy more of that yeast because it's good for my plant to make your plant grow without you know putting all kind of stuff in it that you don't know who make it. So all right my people let me put on the camera back and then get started on my chicken. I'm gonna throw that chicken in so you can see what time is it my peeps. Yeah my peeps so all right chicken yeah, yeah my people Stayed for a minute. What are you gonna do? You're gonna cover this part. I think this is the covering. Yeah. So we use this for this. All right. So we'll cover it up now. And then we're gonna make sure to put a little bit of water in this to get the rest of it out. So now all the vegetables now we can put in this. Right, so put the water in this because they're gonna go in the pot and rest. Salmon, parsley, thyme, tomatoes. Nice. All right, so all my herbs and spices are in this. And then I got dry, dry herbs and spices inside it to go. So now that's on, once I start to put everything together, then I can start on my bakes. So people, that's what I'm going to do. But I won't touch nothing until this set off. So now, all right, so I want this. So brown sugar, right? But I don't use sugar. This sugar is from a plant. So what I do? For two spoons. Two spoon. Right, nice. So this is from a plant, my tomatoes plant. So make it stay there. When you're ready, I'll put it in my, my jug. But Right now, we're cooking. Nice. Oh, 
Let me show you what's going on in the pot. Look at that piece. Look at that. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, please. Okay. Curry chicken. Doing this thing. Okay. So we're going to make it leave for the next couple of minutes. I don't want to put no water in it. I just want it to stay there for a minute. And just do this thing. Then we're going to start on our bakes. Okay. We're going to start on our fry bakes. I don't know people say no. Now set my heart for my base. This bake is going to be nice, people. When it's done, it's going to be good. Smell amazing. It looks delicious. Scrumptious. They look real good, my people. Real, 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 real good. So please like, share, subscribe to Flint Food and Adventure TV, my people. You know, hit that like button. You know, and that will help me out. You know, you're helping me really, and it costs nothing, people. You're just, you're just helping me out you know, to grow my channel. Okay. to turn up the stove. Ah, this wouldn't cook. This would be rushing it. No, I'm not rushing nothing. Then okay. good food take time. Okay. So I can enjoy my beer. Today's Saturday. No, I don't work tomorrow. I work Monday. So I'm all good for the weekend. When it's done I go out there and hustle, you know? I do my hustling. Then I work hard, people. And so when I don't work, I come home, I'm still working again. Yeah. You just gotta do what you gotta do to make that money. And yet, you gotta eat. I can't come home and say, oh, I'm, no, I'm tired, I won't eat. No, I forget that, I'm cooking. Yeah, people, I am cooking. I don't care how tired I am. I don't want dry food to eat, I don't want restaurant food to eat. I have nothing against it. But cooking is cheaper. Nice. About two minutes, I'll throw this bad boy in. Right. At the same time, I think I can start my I can start my fry bakes. So I'll turn it down and maybe six will six will be good for now. To my fried bakes. Right. Yeah, the floor is good. Alright, I'm gonna deal with this and then after that. Once we throw this in, I can start that. Yeah. And relevantly, yeah, it's not bad. It's gonna finish quite easy. Well, it's gonna finish quite quickly, really. You won't take that long. It won't take that long. 
lang na piece. Look at this people. I'm not sure, man. Look at that. Look at this man. Look. That's what I'm talking about, my people. Yeah. Coming in just great, man. Coming along just great, people. You notice it does a stick, right? Because the temperature is on four. Okay. Cook it slow, low and slow. Okay. That's what we're talking about. And then I'm gonna throw that in. And then after that, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some um, uh, frozen vegetable, I'm gonna put some in it. Okay. So I'm gonna put some veg in it as well. But I'm gonna just marinate it first. So most of everything I cook, I use vegetable, 90%. Most 90% of my cooking, I would say 90 .99 .9 of my cooking, I use vegetable in my food, all of my food. The 1%, I don't remember that year because I always use vegetable in my food. So 100%, so gotta be good. All right, now we can throw this in. All right. Rinse it out. I get everything out. All right, nice. Nice, my people. See? All right, so we're going to make that one quick one first. We have some dry rub to put in it, but not yet. Not as yet, my people. Make that one do its Turn the heat up a little bit, you know that water is in it, and then our fry bakes. Time, time for you to start bubble. And without further ado, our duo further. Um, Him don't get stuck to the plate. Right. Put some flour on it. So, you know, when you put the fry bakes on it, it doesn't get stuck to the plate.
I ride with people. Check it out, people. I'm gonna make sure you can see my. All right, you can see my big pot, so you can see. to spread right out people this is now some pretty boy thing we can spread them out see make them flat as possible that's what I do All right, my people. My fried beef are flat, mm -hmm. nice and flat. Yeah, people. and flat no pretty boy thing around here real food hmm? look how flat there is look at that hmm? you can see how flat it is all right just doing this thing good where you can flatten them on. That's it. Alright, let's put this one in. Let's put a hot more. First four beaks gone in.
dispatcher. No, let's check out my chicken now. in some dry rubbing it now. Right, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of cayenne pepper. Yeah. Then my peeps. I'm gonna put some all purpose Maggi as you can see. Nice. Garlic powder. Yeah. We're gonna put some seasoning. And this is from Cool Runnings. Garlic. Garlic pepper with it. Garlic pepper and herbs. Alright, that's enough for now peeps. I don't think we need nothing else in it. And my fried bacon is coming on too. So now let's stir this bad boy around. And, and just cover it back up. Huh? That is it. Just cover it back down and make him do his thing. Now we're gonna get to these fried bakes. Huh? Nice, nice people. Bad boy ready to come out. Yeah, nice. All right, people, let me put this down because I gotta get a different plate now to put those fried bakes in. Right, people. Look at that. 
deep. Let's drop in the rest now. And then, what we're going to put in next We're going to get some What we're going to put in next is some frozen vegetables Turn that down with the low We have some frozen vegetables. We're gonna drop some of these bad boys in. There's a carrot and beans and you know, rainbow carrot. Yeah, I'm gonna put too much, that's enough. talking about people. It is good. We yeah, my people. It is nice. It is nice. Okay, now I'm going to turn my frozen vegetable. The flour can go back in. Can I can never get my turmeric. I'm going to spice it up more. But first, I'm going to catch these. 
People, let me bring you down and show you something different, right? Let me show you what's going on now. So, look at this. Okay? So, all that gravy, when you're cooking, you, you don't want the, the gravy to dry out, you know. You want the gravy to go with this, these fried bakes, right? So, you gotta be careful, don't dry it out. You want the juice, okay? You want the meat, the juice, you want everything. It have to have gravy. So, you can dip your fried bacon in and soak it up. All right, my people. You know, when you're doing fried bakes, you got to be around it. Yeah, my people. That, actually, I have two more. I have two more. I thought this was the last one. I guess we have more than that. Okay. Yeah, that's
Yeah, my people, and that is it. In original fry bakes. Some nice yeast. You make some yeast. You call, I call these yeast fry bakes. They're really nice. Yeast is not just for baking alone. It's for fry bakes too. I'm not done. That is it. Yes, my people. That is it. Mm. That is it, my people. The fry bakes are done. Just the last four. And you're good. Yes, my friend. All right, peeps. See? Must know how good it is. I eat up an older one. Yeah, my people. I love when some come out perfectly. cook and turn it down and just wait. Oh, I want to cover it back up too. And then further ado, let's get this bad boy out. Just 
fried beef time. Work it over the fried beef time. Alright. That's it people. That is it. Check my fried beef out man. Look at these fried beef people. Then these are fry bakes, see? I use yeast, nutmeg, all-purpose Maggie, and one other seasoning, see? And then these, this, the yeast right there, you can see it's all fermented. I'm gonna put in a jar of water, and then tomorrow I water my flowers, see? My well, not flowers, it's food, onion, scallion, thyme, see? I even have um, melon, I mean, um, Pineapple, pine, a couple of pine trees. Been growing for about two years. See? Now they are at a stage, which is good. See? But look, people, some of my fry bakes. See? And I use it's a East Fry Bakes. See? And look at the pot now, people. This pot is boiling down, right? So look at it. Look at that. I'm telling you. Yeah, man. Pot is good, man. It's coming out great, people. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, people. So, without further ado, we're going to dish out this bad boy so you can see. When we drop it on the plate, let's soak it up. Huh? Yeah, people, so that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna dish it out, but we're gonna do it two ways. We won't put the fried beef on the plate and the meat because you're gonna soak it up too quick. You have to do it piece by piece by yourself, right? So we'll separate everything. But we'll show you how we're gonna do it though. We'll show you. I'll tell you that. We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you people how we do it, how we do it with right. Alright, nice. Well, so this will make you one thing go for the next half an hour and then we're done. Yeah my people. By the time this chicken comes over 10, 10 this chicken, by the time it's finished, this chicken tender, tender. Just fall off the bone and disappear. But with that can turn down, and we're just about ready. So, this is how we're going to do it. First, we're going to put some. Just like that, that's how we're going to do it. But first we're going to dip some inside there. Hold well, on, let's get done first. Eh? Then we finish up. 
Call for the five people. Mm. I love that beer. <laughs> All right, my people. I'm going to dish this bad boy out, show you how we do it. We're going to show you how we do this one. This is no ordinary, in, in, we call it, this is no ordinary yamins. Okay, that's how we're going to do it, my peeps. for the gravy. people everything done people let me bring you down and show you what going on man see i love when i do something and come out awesome you know all right my people let me introduce you first to the plate this is a fry bakes then i make this fry bake with yeast first you make you mix the yeast in warm water to loosen it up to make it come milky white then you use it knead your flour right once you need the flour, you gotta make it sit down for at least 20 to 30 minutes, you know, so it, it rise. Right? And then, here are my curry chicken, right? My curry stew chicken, see? So we couldn't put everything on the plate because it, it's the juice will just soften it up too quick. You must get it, break a piece, dip in this juice, and you know, eat it the way you want. Right? So I present to you, Saturday evening supper people. Fry bakes with curry stew chicken. See? And there is the load of plate. This is a, a, a plate load of fry bakes people. I just eat one. I, I try to taste a piece, but it tastes good. See? Now, there's my curry chicken. Right peeps? And that is it my people. That is it my people, so please like, share, subscribe, check out Flint Food and Adventure TV peeps. Every day I try to come up with something new. Then, this one, you guys never see yet. You know, the first time I'm using this on this channel, the Friday the, uh, the East. Right? The first time I'm using East, but I'm making, I, I planned to do it a long time ago, but I couldn't get the East. I have to go to the Caribbean store to get it. I look all over the place, supermarket to supermarket. I could not get the East. The only place I could get it is the Caribbean store. But I got it. I know it's in my plate. All right, my people, bless up every time. Then, then so please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Then leave a comment, whether it's good or bad. I don't believe it is no bad comment. You know, I don't believe in that. I just believe in people just react different ways, right? So, and the way you react, I will react the same way, right? So, you leave a good comment, I'll leave a good comment. If you don't leave a good comment, two to one, I won't answer you, but yet I will answer you in a decent way. I won't make it vulgar or rude. So, if you can keep it clean, please. Then, uh, if you don't have nothing to say, just don't say nothing. See? Until the next one, my people. Bless up. It's a nice weekend. 
it's summer is kicking in. Summer is not here yet for some people, but for Vancouver, the summer starts since March, since March 15th, to be exact. Vancouver summer started. That's what I keep telling people a long time ago. Vancouver, when the Russia, British Columbia is snowing or getting cold, Vancouver summer start early. That's why lots of people live here now. Because they know when winter comes, or winter don't come as, as normal as other people. No, 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 no. It, they get the snow first, we get rain and sunshine. That we good at rain. All right, my people, until the next video, please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Then until the next one, people, bless up always. Everybody have a good weekend, man. No drink and driving, then. Think about your kids, your family, your people out there walking, see? Take a Uber or take a taxi, see? One love. Hmm? Look at that, I see the last look at me. Look at that, people. And that's why you don't want to serve it. If I put everything on the plate, you know, it, it gonna, you don't, you know, all these fry bakes are gonna soak up the juice. You don't want that. So we set it up nicely restaurant style then I'm practicing now so when I get my restaurant I know how to serve my food to my people then but I will get my restaurant by the grace of God I will get it all right my peeps one love